This video describes the five steps involved in configuring a Checklist Pro checklist. Create a checklist configuration, set up checklist creation conditions, set up checklist edit conditions, set up checklist close conditions, and lastly, develop the checklist template. In this example, our Checklist Pro administrator will create a checklist configuration for the catalog task table handling a supervisor offboarding task. We will give this configuration an appropriate name and a select the catalog table in order to associate the configuration from the table to our checklist configuration. The optional information field provides a means to add an HTML header above our checklist, which can be useful in providing additional information to the checklist editor. Next, we will define the conditions on which our checklist should be created using the standard ServiceNow condition builder. We will leave the active flag unchecked until we've finished configuring our checklist. In this example, we will identify the supervisor offboarding tasks as tasks starting with the short description text as offboarding supervisor duties. And we will further define the checklist should only be created when these tasks have been approved and are in an open, in progress, or pending state. Next, we will define the conditions on which our checklist can be edited. Typically, this will be targeting a particular user or group and define when updating of checklist values is acceptable. In our scenario, this means a checklist is editable only by the assigned to user when the state of the record is open, in progress, or pending. Next, we will define the conditions on which the record shall be considered closed. In our example, this will be when the state field is in the closed complete, closed incomplete, or closed skipped state. The enforce field is relevant only for required checkbox items. Lastly, we'll need to create template items. Each template item becomes a checkbox item in the checklist for the associated record. Each checkbox item will have a name, that is the descriptive phrase associated with the checkbox, an order in which the checkbox item is to appear, and an indicator of whether or not the checkbox item is to be considered required. Required checkbox items will appear as underlined text in the checklist. If a checkbox item is required and the enforce flag in the closed condition section is set to true, then Checklist Pro will not allow the record to be closed, as defined by the closed conditions, unless all required checkbox fields are checked. If a checkbox item is required and the enforce flag in the closed condition section is set to false, then Checklist Pro will post a warning message to the screen if the record is closed and not all the checkbox fields are checked. Once all, check, once all template items have been defined, and we've verified the create, edit, and close conditions are correct for our configuration, we can change the active field in the creation condition section to true, and Checklist Pro will now begin adding and managing checklists to records as configured here. Notice that before the checklist has been created in the items related list area of our Checklist Pro configuration, there are no records. Let's look at an offboarding catalog task for a supervisor that has not yet met all the conditions necessary to create our checklist. Notice there is no checklist. This is because not all the creation conditions have been met by this record. We will now change the approval state to be approved and save the record. Notice the checklist has appeared but is not editable. That's because by our configuration rules, only the supervisor assigned to this task can edit or update the checklist. We will impersonate the supervisor assigned this task and then see that the checkbox items are editable. Now that we meet the edit conditions of the checklist configuration, we can update the checklist items. We will mark complete all but one of the required checkbox items. Recall that in our configuration, the Checklist Pro admin configured our closed conditions 
so as to enforce required checklist items to be completed before the record could be closed. Notice the error message we get indicating that we have not completed all the required checklist items. We will reload this record and find that the updates we attempted to make as we closed the task did not take effect and that the record is not actually closed. We will now complete all required checklist items and then close the task. Notice this time, the record closed successfully. Notice that the checklist items are no longer editable even by the supervisor. This is because the edit conditions in the checklist configuration only allowed editing of the checklist items by the supervisor if the record was still open. We will now revisit the checklist configuration as the Checklist Pro admin and notice that all the checklist items are re referenced in the items related list area.